And one's back in the nest. I'm only about 100 feet from the nest. And they've been busy. She's been off on her break and the male came in and gave her some food. They made it and had a lot of communication. And then he flew over and back up into the nest and maintained it a little bit. And out he went and then she went after him. Now one of them came back in the nest here. But you see, it's a deep nest. It's hard to see them. And once they're laying down, you can't uh, see if there's anybody in there. But we'll see what happens here. One will be just about ready to take off here pretty quick. But they're tidying things up. And this is uh, the day for number four eggs. So we know they probably got three by now just by watching them. So this would be the fourth egg. We're all excited about it. When they get five, they'll start incubating. They'll incubate for 35 days. They'll bring the temperature up to about 98.6 or better. And after 35 days, they'll hatch. They'll feed the little guys and they'll grow just as fast as you can. Another 35 days, they're big enough to fly up on the limbs in just 35 days after they hatch. And they'll get their education here in the grove, learn to hunt and chase things. They'll feed them. Here's one peeking out now. And off we go. But they're staying busy. Starting to warm up now to get more active. And that's our spot. We're all set up. Should get some fairly good videos here. Well, I think we'll call that good then. See what happens. No one may come sailing in. Or they could be over there uh, on the sunny perch now trying to get a little sunshine. But this is the spot we watch right here. We can see them coming and going. We've had some good weather because it got up about 65 back in again. See, here we go. Come in here and see what we got. That's about zoomed right in there at 169 now. There you go, peeking out. See, there you go. A few leaves in the way, but at least we get to see, see them up close. Like I said, when we get some youngsters, we'll be able to see them really good. That's kind of a close-up. Well, I'm going to watch them today because this is a, a day for number four egg. Now, the male, he has the real dark red eyes and the grayer cheeks. And she has the orange eyes. His eyes are really deep red. I'm trying to figure out which one this one is here. And behind the leaves, so it's kind of hard. But anyway, that's how you tell them apart. She has a little tint to hers, and off we go again. It looked like it was her, I think. And they're busy. All right, we'll call that good then.